Hey everyone, uh, so a lot of people have been asking for this, so we're gonna give it a try. So we got this chalk marker, and the reason is a lot of people have problems with the spray, or they put it too much and drip and cracks and different other things that happen on glass. So I have here the F1 Ultra, and I have here a, this is Maker Flaw Whiskey Rock Glass, I think I say it right. <laughs> let, let, let me read. Whiskey Rock Glass, yes. <laughs> and I'm reading from the jig, so we make a jig for this one. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the treatment in the way I kind of do it normally with a spray, but we're gonna use this instead uh, and see how it goes. Uh, on the software, I'm not doing nothing special. Really, it's just a logo thing that I found online and I'm gonna use it. This is a vector file. So I kind of uh, go with that and we're gonna see how it goes. Um, so first, make sure that this is nice and shaped. Whatever you wanna take it, take it. So uh, I recommend 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. So I'm gonna grab a little rack and the advantage of 99% compared to the regular that you get Walgreens or whatever, is that this evaporates faster and it's a little bit better also on the cleaning. So I'm gonna put a little bit there to make sure where this is going to be is basically free of any kind of a grease from my hands and stuff like that. So this is nice and clean. I'm gonna put some air in there so it kind of dry out. Let's close this so I don't lose my 99%. There you go. More like so I don't pass out. Oh, it smells really good for me though. <laughs> All right, so the marker, and this is brand new, you see, the, the, it's never used. So I'm doing this straight up on the video. So this is completely a test. I haven't done it at all. I should have probably pushed it in some other surface, like a... Just do it on the glass. Okay, do it in the glass. Come on. Go up and down. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. There you go. Come on! I hope this works in some way. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It does. It's already working. It's coming down. Yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, it's almost there. Now you can hold it. There you go. Ah. Just hold it. There you go. Now the marker is marking. So it's actually interesting how it comes. I never used this one before. I usually paint directly with a spray can. So I want to try to make sure that it's nice and even. Or at least that I don't see through the glass. So I don't know exactly what's going to be the, I'm going to say curing time, but there it is. So I'm going to put a big marker on the side. So I don't know exactly how long this needs to cure. So I'm going to let this sit here for a little bit. Kind of a laser ready. I'm going to put it here. On the adapter on my ultra so let's let this dry it might be 20 minutes 50 minutes an hour we'll let you know i'll be right back <laughs> okay so it's been about 10 ish minutes and i put according to Tess, <laughs> quite a bit so <laughs> there was quite a bit on there <laughs> it's, it's dry out here so I'm gonna guess that it's dry. So we're gonna put it here on the jig. So what I'm doing is put it at the front and this will sit right on it. And it has like the part there. So this, you know, stay aligned exactly there. I'm gonna remove my cap lens. 
remember remove your lens before you use and what I want to do here is I'm going to set the focus so I'm going to do it manually first so you're just going to set the focus up so the two dots uh, get together or overlap so I'm going to do it like that so I'm going to do that there now the jig itself is centered like on the work area if you want to put this lower you can put it on this screw down here so when you do this in this screw you're moving it lower so the dot will be like in the center but since you can frame your image is not really much of importance right now for me so i'm gonna leave it where it is and i'm going to hit frame on the software so i'm gonna hit the frame option here because i want to see where that is so i can see right now that it's way bigger than i needed and it's a little lower so while well, you see there how it is i'm going to select this and i'm going to make everything just a tad smaller so now it's there it's a little more that works a little bit better and now i'm going to move it with the arrows to get the framing where i want it and now i'm gonna up and more and two more up i'm gonna do it a little bit to the left and i think that's kind of a center probably just a little up that works pretty pretty okay ish for me so i'm using right now the old school extraction i'm gonna use it there i'm gonna close here so i don't blind everyone And what I'm gonna do for my settings. So, number one, I'm gonna use the blue light. This is a vector file, so it's gonna be engraved blue light. And I feel like I'm gonna do a, well, this is a 20 watt, this is not my regular 10 watt. So I'm gonna do 60% power. I'm gonna do 200 millimeter per second, one pass. And I'm gonna change this because it's a little bit small design to 220 see how it goes with a little bit of luck and I'm just throwing settings with a little bit of luck the glass <laughs> won't explode so let's oh see God. it all right I send this to the laser let's keep the shield down because I don't want glass all over in case something happens and hit start okay uh, this is how it came out so far so let's watch this and see how it looks but I gotta tell you, it looks pretty promising. So, be right back. Okay guys, so we did the test. Uh, this is the results. And on the top, where the hat is kind of a weird, I think I didn't let the chalk dry completely because I, like, this says I put quite a bit. <laughs> and I was like, making the air so it dries in 10 minutes and now probably will be smart to let this dry but i gotta say this actually came like really nice i mean it's super even i don't see it granularly you know it's like a grain dots everywhere this is pretty much even 
Uh, of course, an, a UV laser will do like a better coloring, like more white and clear and stuff like that. But if you have to use your X2 F1 Ultra, uh, the settings that I use, give it a try. Uh, I know that not every glass is exactly the same. And sometimes the settings might crack because this is what happens with glass when you etch or you engrave glass. You're not actually putting color. You are creating micro fractures. So all these white that you see here are like a tiny microscopical fractures that makes the graphic. So basically we are breaking the glass. So when you do that and you see parts like on the hat probably was too hot in the first layer of the glass, because you will feel the difference between this and this, the first layer of the glass kind of a chip off. So this is a micro fracture. It can be because it was too much power, too much heat on the glass and things like that. So the settings that I use were kind of a, out of experience that I use here and there and other stuff. This is the first time that I tried to use this glass. And this is again, uh, the Whiskey Rocks uh, mm -hmm. glass yeah. from Makerflow. They're really nice. I mean, this is a really thick glass. This is a really good quality. And they have a sale right now, I and mean, we have a case <laughs> because we're gonna drink a lot of whiskey. But give it a try, give it a try. It's actually really nice. Get, I'm gonna put it on the links below uh, where I got the chalk marker. This is the thick chalk marker. You can use any other marker. You don't need to get that one specifically. It's the one that I use this time. Everything is going to be in the description below. Uh, please give us your thumbs up, like the video, share the video, leave us a comment. If you want to see any more tests on glass and things like that, leave us a comment below. And as always, fire the laser.